Tonight, 7.15, September 22nd, 1955. A low-key welcome to Britain's first commercial television station, described as the Antichrist for daring to air vulgar adverts. It's tingling fresh. It's fresh as ice. It gives SR toothpaste. Advertising revenue it spent on showbiz and entertainment. New drama intended to shake up the BBC. Hey, come on, honey, come on, they're just getting an air flying out there. That night, independent television news, ITN, took to the air for the first time. Good evening. The government is not going to grant automatic reprieve. Since that first broadcast, ITN has been an innovator, trying to break the mould. Over the past 60 years, it's changed the way news is delivered. The first female newscaster, Barbara Mandel, appeared in 1955. The first reporters in vision, doing what we call a piece to camera. And the first to make news items into short films or packages. Sandy Gall was an early recruit who became a household name. He remembers the excitement when he joined in the 1960s. ITN was young and um, go for it and go ahead and, and so on a big story they really had more, I think they had more sort of uh, g get up and go than the BBC then and I think we, we were, I think we were better than the BBC certainly. <laughs> News at 10's original 13 programme run was extended after it attracted 10 million viewers. It was more than two decades later before Trevor MacDonald broke the mould as a solo presenter. He became one of the best-loved broadcasters, but claims he never lost his nerves. I think it's the most terrifying job in the world. Um, to know after people had associated it with two people, to know that you were doing it on your own was, was frightening. The same apprehension felt by the team 60 years ago as they launched ITV's very first live broadcast. Ready, our friends, you citizens of London, wish us Godspeed. Over to Guildhall, good luck all, here we go, take it, Master Control. Do take, take it. it. <laughs> that is the 60th birthday edition of the news from ITN. I'm sure I saw you on there somewhere. <laughs>